I just feel like it should be a choice whether you want to wear a mask or not. As part of a protest against Andy Bashir's mask wearing mandate for public and private schools, students from Belfry High School were ejected after refusing to wear masks Friday morning. Yeah, that's, we pretty much told them we weren't going to put on a mask and they just said we had to walk out. During the protest, around 15 students and adults stood outside the school to oppose the mask wearing mandate, many stating that they shouldn't be forced. It's not really the point of passion of not wearing masks, it's number one, the right to be able to not wear the mask. Uh, if you could show me any solid science that says that the masks are that effective, then I could understand it. I could, I could see why that I, maybe I need to wear the mask. But there is no science that says that the masks are working. And even at that, if I have to say so, the hypocrisy of almost everybody that implement these rules, even saying that we need to wear the mask, that once behind closed doors, they don't even do it follow their own self. Since July, COVID-19 cases have spiked across the Commonwealth. 16% of those cases attributed to children. As of now, the CDC recommends wearing masks to reduce transmission. However, protesters are questioning the seriousness of the recent surge. I don't really think they work, and if you're st still scared of getting COVID, you should probably do virtual school. If this is so bad and we are still in such a pandemic, then why is everybody, once they get off a of camera, and you catch them, why are they taking their mask off? Why are they asking, is it okay for me to take, a, take my mask off? Is it okay for me to stand beside you without my mask and take a picture? If we're in a t t pandemic, you shouldn't have to ask. Because if you're that afraid and if we're in that much danger, there's no reason to ask. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Even as COVID-19 cases continue to rise, Ford believes the impact of masks and digital learning on students is too much. It's affecting everything emotionally. I mean, it's, I have literally watched kids break down and cry. It's tearing them apart on the inside. And these are the ones that are being affected the most by it, not because of the COVID, but because of all the conditions, all the circumstances, all the guidelines that we're putting them through. Okay, everything at Mingo County in West Virginia last year, we missed over probably almost three fourths of the year, almost. And I seen kids that the year before, before COVID hit, and then when they came back to school after that, not the same kids not the same kids. Emotionally, they're just so, so socially withdrawn because they sat in the house and they did nothing. Okay, again, I'm a football coach. My football players, because of what happened last year, I don't have kids come out this year. Okay, and also just, I mean, it's, it, it breaks their heart because they work for something. Work for what now? Because they know at any moment it can be taken away. And that's, it's just, it's, again, it's gut-wrenching to every one of them. Mountaintop has reached out to both Belfry High School and the Pike County School Board about the ejection. They have yet to comment. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Horgel.